Hello friends, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. Hi kids, today our topic of discussion is recurring deposit account. A very easy topic, you can easily score 4 marks over here. But first of all, look what is recurring deposit account. We know recurring means it occurs after a fixed interval of time. So if an investor deposits a fixed amount every month, okay, for a certain period of time known as maturity period, then at the end of that maturity period, he'll get what he has deposited plus the interest on what he has deposited. Okay, that kind of account, if you open that account in bank or in post office, is known as recurring deposit account. Let us now discuss in detail how to calculate the maturity amount and the interest okay now before we look how to calculate the interest first thing we should know that the sum of first n natural numbers is equal to n n plus 1 by 2 what do i mean by this just look over here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so there are 1 2 3 4 5 terms so n is 5 so i can use 5 5 plus 1 by 2 which is 5, 6 by 2, which is 15. And we know that when you add all this, you get 15. So if there are 10 terms, 10, 10 plus 1 by 2. So by this way, we can add the first n natural numbers. But suppose we take a case where a person deposits, deposits rupees x every month, rupees x every month. And he deposits for four months. For four months, he deposits the money. And the interest is paid at a rate of R percent. So, rate of interest is R percent per annum. Now, for four months, he deposits. For the first month, for the first month, he'll get an interest because he deposits to PZX. So, what will be the interest? I1. P, what he deposits? Into R into for the time for which he deposits which is 4 by 12 by 100 again for the second month again he deposits rupees x so on that he'll get an interest x into r into 3 by 12 because that money is deposited for 3 months similarly for third month is i3 will be x into r into 2 by 12 by 100 and is for the fourth month i4 will be x into r into 1 by 12 by 100 now the total interest earned you need to add all this so i can say that the total interest when you add all this i think x r by 100 into 12 is common see in all which means x into r by 1200 taken common. So in the first case, it will be 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now over here, we took 4 months. Suppose we had taken n months. So this will be i equals to x into r by 1200. This will be 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 n. Now we know the sum of n natural numbers is nothing but just a second this is n n plus 1 by 2 which means the interest in case of rd account is x into r into n n plus 1 by 2400 where x is the amount deposited per month r is the rate and n is the number of month now we'll calculate the maturity amount now we know that maturity amount is the total amount he deposited which is x multiplied by n you know plus the interest so this is my maturity amount and this is my interest okay now we look at four sums and trust me the chapter will be over now look at sum number two from ml agarwal saloni deposited rupees 150 so that's my x okay 
in a bank for eight months. So N is eight. Okay, under recurring deposit scheme, what will be the maturity value of his deposit if the rate of interest is eight percent? So R is eight percent per annum. Easy. We we'll first calculate the interest. So we know interest is x multiplied by R multiplied by N. N plus one. And in the denominator, we can directly write twenty four hundred. Okay. Now put the value. So this is one fifty multiplied by eight multiplied by eight multiplied by this is eight plus one. That's nine by two four zero zero. So that's Three hundred. That's two. That's four. That's rupees thirty-six. So your maturity amount is nothing but x n plus interest. So that's rupees one fifty multiplied by n is how much? Eight plus rupees thirty-six. That's twelve hundred plus thirty-six. That's rupees one two three six. Clear. Now we look at the next sum. Sum number seven. David opened a RD account in a bank and deposited rupees three hundred per month. So he X is rupees three hundred for two years. So we know N is twenty four months. If he received rupees seven seven two five at the time of maturity, which means your maturity amount is rupees seven seven two five. Find the rate per annum now. Look at this. Maturity amount is given. The amount deposited per month is given, and N is given. We can easily find the interest, isn't it? Interest can we say is maturity amount minus X into N. Is it clear? Which means this is seven seven two five minus three hundred into twenty four. That's seven seven two five minus this is zero zero two. Seven. That's that's how much? Five to five. So this is your interest. Now look carefully. Can I write interest equals to x into r into n n plus one by twenty four hundred, which means five to five equals to x is three hundred. Multiplied by R, we don't know. This is twenty-four. Hundred four plus one, twenty-five. Five two four zero zero. So one two one two. This is twenty-four. So this becomes what? Five two five equals to seventy-five R. So your R is five two five by seventy-five, which is equal to how much? This is uh, R equals two. Seven percent per annum. And that's my answer. Clear? Look at sum number ten. Okay, Mohan has a recurring deposit account in a bank for two years. So n is twenty-four at six percent per annum. So your rate is six percent per annum. If it gets rupees one two zero zero as interest, so I is given as rupees one two zero zero at the time of maturity. Find the amount deposited, which is X I written and the maturity amount. Now interest is given. See, can we write? We know interest equals to x into r into n, n plus one by twenty four hundred, which means I can write one two zero zero equals to x. We don't know. Rate is six, and your time is n is twenty four. Twenty four plus one twenty five by two four zero zero. So this cancel hundred times. This is four times. Okay. So this is three times. This is two times. Means one two zero zero multiplied by two by three equals two x, which means three ones are three four hundred times. So x equals two rupees eight hundred. So we got the amount deposited each month as rupees eight hundred. Now we'll calculate maturity amount. Simple. Maturity amount is n x plus interest. We know n is what twenty four. Your x is eight zero zero plus interest. They have already given to us. So that's zero zero. That's two 
that's my maturity amount. You can pause the video and see the sum. Okay. So look at the last sum, sum number 12. Samita has a recurring deposit account in a bank of rupees 2000 per month. So your X is rupees 2000 at the rate of 10%. So rate is 10% per annum. If she gets rupees 83100 at the time of maturity, which means maturity amount is rupees 83100. Find the total time. They have asked for N for which the account was held. Now first thing, maturity amount is given. Can I write maturity amount equals to N X plus interest. Interest is what? X into R into N into N plus 1 by 2400 well, I'll substitute the values so that's 83100 0, 0. equals to n we don't have x is 2000 so 2000 n plus over here 2000 plus, uh, sorry plus over here 2000 into rate is what rate is 10 percent n we don't know n plus 1 by 2400 this, 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 this. Now, if you look properly, 100 is common on this side as well as that side. So, I'll remove 100 from the entire equation. So, this becomes 20n plus this becomes 2n, n plus 1 by 24, which again gives this. Okay. So, this is 831 equals to 12 is my LCM. So, this is 240N plus this opens the bracket N square plus N. Okay. Now, 12 into 831 is 9972. So, 9972 equals to 241N plus N square, which means can I write N square plus 241N minus 9972 equals to 0. Now, that's my quadratic equation you can easily solve it okay by middle term or by Sridhacharya's formula my middle term I'll get 277n minus 36n minus 9972 equals to 0 which means n n plus 277 minus 36 taking common n plus 277 equals to 0 which means n minus 36 n plus 277 equals to 0. So, this is 0 or this equals to 0. So, n minus 36 equals to 0. We can say n is 36 and n plus 277 equals to 0. n is minus 277, which is not possible. Time cannot be negative. So, n is 36. So, the time was, total time was 3 years. And that's the chapter.